Okay. All right, so we're filling in all increments of 30 degrees. So I've got 30 here, and then that puts me at 60, plus 30 more is 90, plus 30 more is 120, plus 30 more is 150, plus 30 is 180. Okay, we're going to keep going. Plus 30 is 210. Plus 30 more is 240. Plus 30 more is 270. Plus 30 is 300. Plus 30 is 330. And then plus 30 more puts us back at 360. Everybody okay with those angle measures? Okay. And we've kind of dealt with some of those through um, some problems we've done already. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put radian measures on all of these. Okay, so radian measures. How many radians of zero degrees? Zero radians. So I'm going to put zero right there. Okay, remember radians is understood if it's not there. Okay, how many radians is all the way around the circle? How much? 2 pi. So this is also 2 pi. And um, here. Actually, let's do this one first because that's a little bit easier. What's 180 equal to? Pi radians. Okay, so what if I went halfway to pi? Pi over 2. Okay, what if I went from pi halfway to 2 pi? Would that be 1 and a half pi? Right, halfway between 1 and 2 is 1 and a half. But improper fraction for 1 and a half is 3 halves. So we usually call it 3 pi over 2. Okay, all right, so... Someone tell me how to convert 30 degrees to radians. Pi over 180. Very good. Okay, the degrees cancel. And pi stays. It doesn't have anything to cancel with. The zeros cancel. What does 3 over 18 reduce to? 1 6. So we'll just say pi over 6. So that's 1 6 pi. Okay, so that's my 30 degrees. Pi over 6. Okay, I'm going to go all the way around the circle with increments of pi over 6. Okay, so this is 1 6 pi, right? I'm going to go up here, skip over the 45s. So I'm going to go up here, that's 2 6. But what is 2 6 reduced to? One third. So this is pi over three or one third pi. Okay, so that was one six, two six, three six. Well, look, three over six reduces. Okay, this is four six, but what does that reduce to? Two thirds. So I have two pi over three. Skip over the 45. This was 4, 6. This is 5, 6. Doesn't reduce. This is 6, 6. Oh, it reduces to pi, but we already had it there. So that's 6, 6. This is 7, 6. Doesn't reduce. Let me skip over that 7, 6. 8, 6. Reduces to... 4 over 3. Okay, so that was 8, 6. This is 9, 6, which reduces to what we already have. Then this is 10, 6. 10 over 6 reduces to 5 over 3. Okay, so that was 10 over 6. This is 11 over 6. Doesn't reduce. 
And this is 12 6, which reduces to 2. Okay? All right, we could also look at increments of 60. So if 60 is one third, here's one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, oops, sorry, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds. Okay, so it's really just a bunch of patterns around the circle. Okay, 45 are the only ones that are left. So if I want to convert 45 to radians, what does 45 over 180 reduce to? You should calculate if you need to. 140. So this is 1 pi over 4, or just pi over 4. Okay, so all of our 45 degrees will be increments of 1 fourth pi. Okay, so here we go. We have 1 fourth pi, 2 fourths pi. 2 fourths reduces. 3 fourths pi doesn't reduce. 4 fourths reduces to pi. 5 fourths doesn't reduce. Six-fourths reduces to what we have. Seven-fourths. And then we're back to eight-fourths, which is two. So this would be seven-fourths pi. Okay. Questions on how I got any of those numbers? All right. So the only thing left are these 12 ordered pairs. Okay, so watch this. You may not want to write this on your unit circle. So watch first and then decide if you want to add it to yours. Okay, I'm going to rotate 30 degrees. And I hit the circle at this point right here. And I'm going to do just like we've been doing. I'm going to drop this down perpendicular to the x-axis and make a right triangle. Okay, so I have this right triangle. Remember, I rotated 30 degrees to get there, 30 degrees, which makes this one 60. Okay, remember I said the unit circle has a very specific meaning, and it means that the radius is 1. So if the radius is 1, isn't this hypotenuse a radius of my circle? You see that that hypotenuse is just all these little spokes coming out are all radii. So this length is 1. Well, guess what? We did this already. We had this same triangle where the hypotenuse was 1, a 30-degree angle down here, a 60-degree angle up here. So we already figured out the legs. This one is 1 half, and this one is square root of 3 over 2. Same problem that we did here. Okay, so think about this ordered pair. If I were to move to that ordered pair from the origin, I would go right, square root of 3 over 2, and up 1 half. So guess what that ordered pair is? Square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. Okay. Just let that soak in. That triangle, compare it to the paper that we did already. We already calculated those legs. And then how do I get to that ordered pair? I have to travel along the distance of those legs. So those leg measurements become that ordered pair on the unit circle. Are we okay? All right, we'll ignore the 45. Let's go, I'm going to do the same thing, so I'm going to erase this. Let's go to the 60 degree angle. Okay, so I start on the positive x-axis, I rotate 60 degrees, it hits the circle at this point. I'm going to bring this down perpendicular, just like we've been doing. This angle right here is 60 which forces this one up here to be 30. Okay, so now I have this right triangle right here, 
that has a 60, 30, 90. And this hypotenuse, well, that's another radius of that circle. The radius of this circle is 1, so this hypotenuse is 1. Well, look, we just did that. Turns out there's a rhyme and a reason. We just calculated hypotenuse of 1, 60 down here, 30 up here. We found the legs. So I'm going to bring those measurements over. This base is 1 half. This height over here is square root of 3 over 2. So to get to that ordered pair right there, I have to travel right from the origin 1 half and up square root of 3 over 2, making that ordered pair 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Who has a question on those two ordered pairs? Do you see why they're the reverse of each other? Because the angles are reversed. So the sides opposite and adjacent are reversed. Any questions? Okay, so let's fill in the 45 and then we'll talk about the other quadrants. So, to rotate 45 degrees, that puts me smack dab in the middle of that quadrant. It hits this ordered pair on the circle. I'm going to come down perpendicular. This angle is 45, making this angle 45 as well. So I have this cute little triangle right there that's a 45, 45, 90. The hypotenuse, by the golly, that's another radius of the circle. And that radius is 1. So this hypotenuse is 1. Well, guess what? We did that same calculation already. 45, 45, 90 with a hypotenuse of 1. And we found the two legs to be square root of 2 over 2. So this leg is square root of 2 over 2. This leg is square root of 2 over 2. And to get to disordered pair, I would go right square root of 2 over 2, up square root of 2 over 2, making this ordered pair square root of 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2. Not necessarily pretty numbers, but that's, that's what they are. We just have to deal with it. Any questions on those three ordered pairs? Okay. Do you remember when you were younger and your teacher would say, fold your paper hot dog style or hamburger style? You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so let's say that we fold our paper hot dog style on the y-axis. What do you notice? Those three are going to match up with those three. I could go through the same thing and redo the triangles over here, but I don't think I need to. I think we can see what's going to reflect to what. These two are going to match up. These match up. These match up. So aren't they going to be the same ordered pairs? With one change. X's are negative. I'm in the second quadrant. I went left from the origin. That makes the X coordinate negative. Okay, so I'm going to go around and I'm going to match these up. Reflections making the X's negative. This one reflects over to this one. And this one reflects over to this one. Make sure that your x's are negative over there. Okay, well now let's talk about folding it hamburger style. What if I folded my paper on the x-axis like this? What's going to pair up? All six of these that I just put on there. This one's going to pair up here. This one will pair up here. This one will pair up here. So guess what? It's the same numbers again, but what change do we make in the third quadrant? Y's are also negative. Okay, then over.